Hello and welcome to Real Hi-Fi Hell. This video is about installing seven different system sound priorities. So, <clears throat> let me just explain to you quickly what that is. Um, you have a house here. This is your audio room. You have your speakers here, your amp, listening position. And you've got this, this is the, the blackboard, you know, where you have all your circuit breakers here. I've blown it up over here. And Typically what, what goes on in most people's hi-fi rooms is that they have one plug here. And let's just say this is the in-wall cable feeding that plug. It then is shared with the toilet, the kitchen, and dining room. Let's say that, okay? And that's not an optimal solution. So let's just draw that for you guys, okay? So it goes here. And let's just say dining room, kitchen, another plug here, toilet, and over there, you know? So on this circuit breaker here, everything is connected to that, you know? And then I would say about, I don't know, 40% of people don't even have an, an earth connection, which is, yeah, not good. It makes the sound um, nervous, thin, and you just, you know, you just end up never really um, making huge uh, amounts of, of, of progress with your system. You know, it's it's almost like that there's a certain type of confusion going on in the system. So <clears throat> ultimately, what we want to get into is this <clears throat> mindset here of seven different sound priorities which is basically you having seven different plugs so instead of all of this stuff going on let me just draw it another way let's just say we draw it like this here that's one that's two that's three that's four you know different different um systems that, I, that i'm talking about they're all independent they're not shared with other uh, rooms and that creates a type of sound that is a hell of a lot better if you of course you can get a if this is too far away you can of course get a new blackboard here uh, set up with different um, circuit breakers you, you can of course get that set up to save a bit of money um, so you don't have to draw all of these long long cables here um, so that's also a possibility so let me get on to the video. Then, then you know what this video really is about. So, <clears throat> this is the stuff that I know works. You can also potentially do some other combinations, but th this is like the winner combinations that I've found that actually change sound. So, <clears throat> let's go through the first four ones. Those are probably the most... Uh, interesting ones so you have Cardis cable you have this special wall plug here and you have this something called uh, AHP Klang Modul circuit breaker you can also get something similar to this um, but basically what you have is a certain amount of style that gives you a lot more help forgiving type of sound that is on the warm side um, it's, it's especially, you know, people with normal systems, the, the, the low to mid end systems that, you know, have a giant amount of glare, brightness, harshness, they sound mechanical, they sound analytical, they just, you know, they're lacking a lot of personality, you don't know if it's this or that, and you mess around with stuff, it's just nice to have a thing like this, let's just say this first one is it, you know? It's just nice to have that because if you've only got one amplifier, one whole system, it can completely change the sound going from one plug here to a completely different plug with a completely different priority. So that's why I call it priority. And it's not to mean that you're making a sound uh, not neutral because nothing is really neutral. If you use a standard plug with a standard cable with standard 
circuit breaker. You're going to get a very nothing like sound that's going to be flat. It's, you know, it's going to lack pressure. It's going to lack power. It's going to lack control. It just doesn't have that vibe and style and <clears throat> personality. It's, it's just an empty sound, basically, you know. So so what you're listening to, your your equipment just quickly gets turned into this sort of, you know, it just sounds like a lot of pieces trying to come together, trying to play music, but but just not succeeding. When you have stuff like this going on, it's just you get a certain type of um, direction, you know, and, and, and you want that. You don't want a, a, a sort of neutral that falls apart in all different kinds of categories, you know, where you get no 3D imaging, you get no layering, you get no pressure, you know, get no bass and get nothing, you know, it's just a lot of nothing, you know, it's numb, it's harsh and whatever. That's what you get with, with, with a normal setup in a normal house. So this is how you, you beat that. So you, you can read about it more if you want to. I'm not going to read this this whole thing. So basically we have a thing that goes together here that creates a very helping, powerful sort of boosted sound. But still, it's more, um, it's more intelligent than, than, than a normal thing. So... Um, it's basically all about bass richness, just that nice, feely, good vibed kind of music. And it, you, you could be one of those people that want to use this because you've got a thin sounding transistor system in, a, in a, perhaps a big room and you want to fill it out, you know, and have proper bass response and stuff like that. This is just perfect for that. Or, or if you just want to, you know, switch priorities once in a while. And then second priority you own is like the more ultimate neutral evolved type of, of higher end sound. Th this is basically the sound that I'm using right now here, which is um, gigawatt in-wall power cable, um, gigawatt circuit breaker. And then we've got these, uh, one of these three um, OE8 plugs um, here. And that's basically it, you know. That that's the boat. That's the most neutral, three D, micro detail like uh, type of sound. It isn't too analytical. It isn't too warm. It just has a bit of everything, but it's a lot more fine and evolved. And I would then personally take this. You could also take one of the two other Oyed. Uh, power plugs there would be a, a slight difference in priority but generally all of this together you're getting style you're getting direction you know you're basically when you have stuff like this with, with a decent power bar it's basically like someone giving you five thousand dollars going like boom you know here's a five thousand uh, dollar amplifier upgrade you know it's basically that that's going on to some degree you know um, and then, you know, a, a whole third priority, which, which is, I wouldn't use this a lot, but it would be nice to try once in a while, you know, just, just to shake things up. But a, a third priority is this analytical sound where you get the same gigawatt in-wall cable. You get, um, yeah, the, the same circuit breaker, but you now use the gigawall in-wall uh, in wall plug which is like a, I think a brass rhodium plug and I really don't like this sound but it does to some degree have a, a lot of coolness going on for it and I think that because it's just so dramatically different it can just put the sound that you know and just throw a completely different spin on it just going like what about this angle of approach you know where, where you're listening to this type of detail this type of structure this type of personality yeah it, it won't be super nice to listen to it but will be a bit cold a bit analytical and all of that but you know there will be a lot of of a certain type of detail that you usually don't hear and you could be like oh that's a bit too thin a bit too harsh put some fruitic ncf uh plug on on that instead 
it's a lot more helping, a lot more boosted, a lot more of a bandwidth type of sound with with warmness to it, you know? It, it but still a bit on the analytical side. It's 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 just it's just nice to go into these di different modes so that you can manipulate the sound that you want to to kind of own. So you don't have to own one, two, three, four, five, six, seven amplifiers. You can just have your one system that gets into these different types of modes. Fourth mode would then be this is something that I haven't tried. Okay, you're basically going with Oyed in wall uh, cable. I heard that should be good. Then you're taking something like a gigawatt circuit breaker. I'm using this as an example because that is the very best circuit breaker I've ever heard of all the the hi-fi circuit breakers. There could be something else that you would rather want to listen to, but I just think that is just so incredibly 3D, neutral, reactive, and cool. I just like to mention that. Um, and then watt gates, silver in wall plugs. Um, I heard from friends that this should be really good. Just a really good stereo imaging, really good style, personality, and structure. Just, just a very different type of spin on the sound, just just a very different priority detail wise. And then something really interesting, I'm not gonna read everything up, you guys can always just pause it and, and look through all the details. Um, Cause if I make this video too long, people are just gonna not even try to see what this video is about. So I'm sorry guys, you can just pause it and, 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 and you know, uh, go with it that way. Um, there's also another thing that's really fascinating that I used to do in the olden days where I had like three different types of, of plugs in the wall, you know, um, like let's just say one, two, three, and, but it was normal cable in the wall and it was normal circuit breakers, but three totally different, uh, plugs here. Now, those are only like a third of the thickness of the Cardas and perhaps the gigawatt cable, but there's just something uh, about that type of sound that doesn't quite steer your equipment into a certain direction, forcing it to do something. It keeps it more of a, it keeps it more in, in a neutral way where your gear is telling a bit more what to do with the sound instead of having this 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 kind of force moving in saying you do this boom 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 you know um i just like that i just like having that uh, possibility and just switching between those three and what i would do is just something like an oyate plug then i would have a what gate silver plug and then what no, just some other oyate plug it could also be something completely different like a food take ncf ncf or whatever that's just when you do stuff like that you get this more uh more of a less is more approach minimalistic type of things where you're keeping things a bit more uh raw original um and untainted uh, yeah it won't have quite the the good base and the pressure and the control and and not quite the same personality but still you have a sound that's very different taking it into a very different direction. Um, so that's also something that very good to uh, to remember. And I think that <clears throat> also depending on what power bar you have makes a huge difference. I've, I've, I've kind of put it down here in writing what it is that I recommend. Ultimately, you know, I think everybody in the world should use this, but you know, we can't all afford that. So sometimes we just have to start with a $1 power bar. I'm just saying that all the things up here get a lot more noticeable once you have gear like this that cleans the power in a neutral way that doesn't suppress the music. A lot of power bars in this um, zone that I've tried here are usually very dominating and a very certain angle of sound. So if you have like a normal, I wouldn't mention uh, the, the, the brand's name, uh, the brand's name, but <clears throat> if you have some of these really horrible power cleaning boxes, or especially regenerators, the normal ones, 
they just have this this certain way of locking the sound where they clean everything up you can hear more detail but it does it in a way that it, it holds your gear hostage you know put hand puts handcuffs on it and it kind of like a train going on a railroad track that just can't you know do its own thing deviate from its path you know fully releasing its freaky nature so that's why i recommend usually something like this and then perhaps getting into like a use this or use this type of box and then ultimately getting this but if you can get this from the start it makes things so much more easy for you i'm, I'm telling you guys having these seven setups with a box like this with um four different power cables that i've written here um and then when you find the, the power cable that you like then you produce more of those and you make them of course yourself so that you save a lot of money but when you do stuff like this you save like five thousand you can easily save five thousand dollar on on an amp a dac a cd player a set of speakers um uh, i mean you can easily save that amount of money because it just takes so much energy for the amp and the DAC especially and and the speaker to elevate your sound to this same level but if you do all of this already from the start you don't have to use insane amounts of money getting other uh, pieces of gear and also whatever you then do in 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 your um, setup whatever you do even if you buy really bad gear you'll get a type of response where you just get so much more natural feedback so you don't become confused or sad or that that you feel that you kind of lost and you don't know what you're doing I, I was there for several years you know i just didn't know what i was doing because i didn't have this in place only when i got this in place i would say about after 10 years only when I got this in place after about 10 years time and I have listened to a couple of hundred systems, then things started to make sense. Then it was like, of course, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. that Macintosh doesn't like that Shunyata Hydra 6 um, power bar. So even if I'm getting more separated detail, don't go with it. Even if I'm getting more focus, don't go with it because I could just hear it wasn't doing what it was supposed to do but because my system wasn't set up in a proper way there was this like muddiness and uncertainty and it was kind of good but not quite and it just wasn't consistent enough for me to mentally figure out what the hell is going on you know and you try all these cables and cd players and dacs and you're like uh it's make, it makes a difference but i'm not really sure why this tells you why this gives you certainty with everything that you're doing in your system so you have to consider this like the most basic stuff that you have to do you have to get an earth connection you have to have some uh different uh, plugs you have to have a, a pretty decent power bar you have to have some some decent do-it-yourself cables you make those yourself you save the money and these are the tools that you need to control your sound and then you will just elevate your sounds to insane levels that you know people in in stores can't even reach that have you know 50 100 200 thousand dollar systems and you'll reach those easily with with systems that are only like 10 20 30 maybe 40 thousand dollars um you can easily reach those levels so yeah i hope that helps you guys and just you know try to read everything that i've uh written down here and go through all of my videos it, it really helps you a lot getting all of these small tiny bit of details like for example here you know you can also if you have a lot of money you know get yourself off the power grid and create your own private home uh, power grid with with windmill solar system and batteries you know I've, I've, I've tried that before and it actually makes the sound potentially a lot more uh, natural pleasant and it, it just don't have these mood swings and you know irrational you know instability issues that you just we all have to go through because we're connected to this power system where power just fluctuates just 
up and down, up and down, up and down. And it just makes it worse that more people are getting um, electrical vehicles, you know. I can definitely feel that when I'm recharging my, my car outside or when people come home and they recharge their cars, I can feel that, you know. I, I can hear that in my system, you know. Um, but again, sometimes you're at, a, at such a low level, you can't even hear small stuff like this you know I, I was there for several years you know it, and and digging yourself out of, of this hole where you don't know about this you don't know about that this is how you get to know you get this as a base and you do all of these things or to some degree and suddenly you're like you're in audio heaven you just have the ultimate control of basically figuring out what every single thing does in the hi-fi world you just you'll just be able to um you'll be able to um just figure out everything you know like like what's the difference between this denifrip stack and this aquavox stack and this hollow day may deck or whatever they're called you know you'll just be able to hear that immediately after a couple of minutes because you've got all your basics in order if you haven't got your basics in order you're basically in a state of confusion that I would say 99% of the world is with their audio systems. Even, you know, a lot of people that have good audio systems, you know, I mean, a lot of them are, 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 are lying to themselves because they can't get to the truth because the system isn't truthful enough to, to tell them exactly what was going on before I had my audio note speaker. I was still in a state of confusion, even though I've been doing this for like 18 years. It it had a way of hiding exactly what was going on because it wasn't the perfect um, speaker match with the amp, with the DAC that I had. As soon as I connected an, an audio note um, component that matched the DAC, that matched the, the amp, that matched the cables, you know, truth ultimate truth gets revealed to you for the first time and then at that time you can hear that oh my god man that the last one year of tweaks that i did i was compensating you know and now i can finally hear what it ultimately is doing you know um so yeah that that's just an amazing thing to experience ultimate truth in in hi-fi and you know you, you can't you can't document these things you can't get you know these these uh, technicians that want to measure this and that and you know talk about all of these uh, frequency graphs and stuff that you can't get them to test things like this it has to make sense for them to, in order um to, for them to test it you know they're not going to use money on trying to test something that doesn't on the surface make any technical sense and you know why that's why you're going to get a better system than they are going to get because you are at least going to try this and that's going to make you a winner and that's going to make those technicians that only believe in in, in in you know proving everything technical that's that that's going to make them you know pump a lot of money into their systems buying big amps big DACs, big uh speakers and you're going to be there with your system that only cost a third of what they paid for their system and you're still going to get a sound that's perhaps five or ten percent better than their system because they have to believe in numbers in graphs and everything else for it to make sense if it if it doesn't make sense on a technical level they're not even going to try and make these experiments so yeah that that's my gift to the uh, the hi-fi community this is what i used so many years on cracking the code figuring out like yeah these are the combinations that that talk together that make music happen so here you go that's me logging off bye